subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you never miss any update. Hi all welcome to yet another video. In this video we will learn how to create fully automatic water tank level controller with dry pump run protection features using Arduino Nano. Let's learn the designing and working of this project using given block diagram. The first block is Arduino Nano. Arduino is the brain of the project. It will take input from the sensors and control all other units according to the value received. The second block is 16 cross 2 LCD display. This unit will display the water level in percentage as well as in bar diagram. It will also show the pump status. This section will also notify us whenever the submersible tank is empty. The third block is the sonar sensor. This is used to measure the water level present on the overhead water tank. Let's understand the working principle of the sonar sensor. Sonar sensor emits an ultrasound at 40 kHz which travels through the air and if there is an object or obstacle on its path, it will bounce back to the module. Arduino will use echo pin present on the ultrasonic sensor to measure the sound wave travel time in microseconds. Considering the travel time and speed of the sound, you can calculate the distance using the formula shown here. The fourth block is the submersible water level sensor. These are two copper wires which are dipped into the submersible water tank. And analog pin present on Arduino Nano will be used to sense the presence of water. The fifth block is the push button. This is used to measure the tank height at the time of installation of the circuit. This can further used if you wish to replace the water tank with a new one. The sixth block is the internal relay plus water pump. Arduino will control the water pump using the internal relay. The relay present on the circuit can be used to start any kind of 1 HP single phase water pump without starters. The seventh block is also used for the same purpose. You can use this section to replace the internal relay with any relay which is operating in 5V DC to get better power rating for driving the water pump. The eighth block is the buzzer. This is used to notify when the submersible tank is empty. Now let's move to the components required to build this project. You can buy all these components from third party vendors like eBay, Amazon etc. So first of all you need to design your PCBs. You can choose online or offline platform for designing your PCBs. Here we used Fritzing software to design the PCB. Go to Fritzing, design your circuit using the breadboard tab. You can pick the required components to build the circuit from top right search panel and add it to the breadboard tab. Refer the circuit diagram shown here to make one by your own. Please visit link in the description to know more about the circuit. I've also added wire sensors to measure the overhead tank water level in the circuit and I'll be doing a separate video to show you how to replace the sonar sensor and measure the water level using these wire sensors in my next video. In this video let's stick to sonar sensor. Go to PCB tab, you could see the PCB layout automatically created according to the design that we made in the breadboard tab. Arrange the components onto the PCB. Now go to routing and click on auto route. This will rearrange the connection to fit with the PCB. Once the design is done, you can export it to a Gerber format. Go to File, Export, for Production and click on Extended Gerber. Create a new folder and click on Select Folder. 
This will export all files to that folder. Now compress the folder to zip or rar format using any of the zipping software. We are going to use JLC PCB website for placing the order for our PCBs. JLC PCB provides great quality PCBs. The basic price goes $2 for 10 pieces of PCBs if you order a 2 layer PCB of size up to 100 by 100 mm. This is the perfect price if you want to make a prototype of your hobby projects or even for your professional products. I'm ordering my PCBs from this website from past couple of months. I'm totally satisfied with the build quality of the PCBs. Now let's see how to order the PCBs. To order PCBs, first of all you need to make an account in this website. You can do so by clicking on the register option if you are not yet registered. Provide a username, then input your email ID and finally set a password. Now you are ready to upload your Gerber file that we created earlier. Click on Got Now button. Click on Add your Gerber file to upload the PCB file. Once it is successfully uploaded, then you will be able to view your PCB in the Gerber viewer. If you need the Gerber file that I have used for this project for ordering your PCBs, please let me know in the comment section. The PCB dimensions are automatically adjusted here. JLC PCB also gives a choice for choosing the color of PCB masking. You can choose any color from these available options. You can leave all other parameters as default. You can see it's only costing you $2 for 10 PCBs. Now we will click on save to cart option. After that click on check out securely. Now you need to add your shipping address and shipping method. Talking about the delivery speed, DHL will deliver it in 3 to 4 business days while airmail will deliver it in 15 to 20 business days. Choose the method according to your need. After the select payment method, you can pay using your credit or debit card or you can even pay using your PayPal account. Complete the payment and wait for the delivery. It took me 7 days to get this delivered at my home address in India. Once you tear off the wrapper, you could see your PCBs inside a cardboard box with GLC PCB printer on top of the box. The PCBs are covered on a bubble wrap. Here one thing to notice that GLC PCB takes ultimate care of our PCBs. Now let's tear off the seal and take our PCBs. As you could see the PCB which comes looks same as per the design that we uploaded to the JLC PCB website and the PCB came with green masking if you could remember we had selected a green color while placing the order. Now let's have a closer look to check the quality of the PCB. The silk screen is perfectly overlaps with the pads. The silk screen is neat and clearly visible. Then we have these shiny solder pads on both sides which make the soldering of the components very easy. Now let's try to solder the components. Please follow the order shown in this video while soldering the components to the PCB.
The soldering of the components make very easy because of the perfect solder pads. I would like to give a big thumbs up for JLC PCB for its cheap price and good build quality. Now we can upload the sketch to our Arduino, connect Arduino to your computer using the USB cable and upload the code. Visit link in the description to get the codes. I have added comments in the program for better understanding of each codes. I've also added links to watch Arduino ID installation for Windows and Ubuntu in the description. This will help you to understand more about Arduino if you are using it for the first time. We are going to assemble the project as shown in this diagram. Please refer the sequence shown in this video while assembling the components together. For the demo purpose, we are using a 12V DC water pump. This circuit can support up to 1 HP single phase water pump if you wish to use this circuit for application level. If you wish, you can also connect an external 5V relay having better current rating onto this circuit. We will go through all the possible scenarios while testing our project. Let's see the working first, then we will test all the possible scenarios one by one.
So our project is working as per our design. We hope that you enjoyed the project and I would like to thank you once again for watching this video.